Hello there, this is Michael Kinsler with the $120 e-commerce website and I'm just moving on based on a domain, just moving on to the next setting here is the image. Okay, so we click on the image and you can see that that's the logo there that's in the actual website. So you basically that can be changed and you see here this big massive image here that is that little boy there in the corner in the browser okay so if you just click on that you'll actually see that and that there so you can actually put whatever you want in there so how that's achieved is very straightforward you click on this little kind of picture here and it will pop up the image manager and basically then you can actually select or upload your own image and use that so as you can see this Qtail web design here so I'm gonna change that to Qtail web design and then hold on now let me see we click here and design and there's my other design there okay so basically then if I want to add an image in here just say in the actual image itself I just press in upload and it will pull up your browser here another browser and you just go to whatever you have your image stored in my case it's documents and my pictures and I just pull that up and say if I want to use that one there or this one here or say one of these dragons in here I just literally click on the image and it uploads and it will tell me if it's fine or if the image is too big success there we go now there's the image there so if I click on that image it has now changed it over to that again <coughs> if I save the changes and then refresh the page the dragon will appear in here you see what I'm saying it's Mars too big so you have to make sure that the images that you use are of the right size so go back into image you see the actual size of it there so I'm just gonna revert that back to the image itself and make sure that you're the, you use a proper image it's not too big and you can practice on this so design now pull that one up and save the changes and now it will go from this back to refresh the page back to its normal logo and if you click on right click go into properties just to give you an idea what it should be and pull it up in here yeah image dimensions should be around 170 by 90 mark that's what it should be so if you have an image that's huge and you want to downscale it just go into any of the image editors online on the internet and basically just change it to around those settings there 172 pixels versus 90 and that's it upload it insert it and you've got your logo there that's it job done now we'll move on with this um, here on the right which is the little logo here so we'll go back into that click on the image and as you can see I've got a huge one here but now I'm gonna put in I'll put in the dragon that's what I do click on it save the changes and you'll see the dragon appear up in that corner and it will automatically resize it and there it is there so that's it that's how you change it now below that again are dimensions product images product image thumb size and I wouldn't change any of these keep these at the default but if you want the products to come up bigger and it's it's fairly straightforward like cart size categories size products 500 by 500 but 
before you make any changes make sure you keep a note of these in other words just copy them copy what's in here or take a, a snapshot of it and copy it and then if you if it doesn't look good you can always revert back to the original default settings and that's it that's how you change your image so the next one I'll be moving on with then is mail and I'll have that uh, video for that and the server okay then Thank you.